When we pulled up to the Chinook Landing boat dock in Fairview, not far from us here uh, earlier this morning, believe it or not, about five or six different boats had already reached their limit for the day, and this was right around 11 o'clock this morning. While it's going really well along this section of the Columbia River, it's also looking pretty nice near the Bonneville Dam. Let's face it, you can have some of your best days out here on the Columbia fishing. It's been a good run. It's been a great run this year. Weather, weather today is perfect. Or some bad days, but lately. We got out here about seven o'clock today and we caught one pretty early and then it was slow for about another couple hours. The fishing along Chinook Landing in Fairview has been some of the best David Walker has seen in years. It's been phenomenal. It's been the best run since 2015 that I can recall. And before that, it was 2008. So every six to, to eight, 10 years, we get, we get a, a really nice, healthy run. It's not just out here. Along the Bonneville Dam, the numbers are off the charts. These numbers are from the Army Corps of Engineers that show how many Chinook salmon have passed through so far this year. More than 630,000. The run is definitely coming in over forecast, uh, and we definitely have seen some great counts. So what's behind this year's higher than expected numbers? It's the ocean conditions out in the Pacific, according to Tucker Jones, who's the Columbia River Program Manager with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. We have you know, this upwelling that occurs with these winds that bring these cold, nutrient-rich waters up from the depths. While Jones doesn't expect this season to turn into a record-breaking year, he also admits anything can happen, something many anglers like David Walker hope to see. It might be 18, it might be 16 and a half. I don't weigh them. I don't weigh them until they get like over 20. The fall Chinook salmon run season is scheduled through the end of this week, but Tucker Jones, who you just heard from, told me there's a chance it could be extended. They plan on having a meeting tomorrow about how long they might extend the season. Reporting live along the Columbia River tonight, Joe Ranieri, KGW News.